2021. The year of New Horizons. The year we came out of hibernation. The year the world had eyes on us. Our Cornwall. Our home. Our people. This year you believed in us more than ever. And thanks to your help, we continued our fight for Cornwall's wildlife together. We witnessed many unusual sightings along our coastline, from Wally the Walrus to mass crab gatherings and orca spotted off West Cornwall. As we were all asked to stay at home in January, the world's largest marine mammals came out to play with 21 humpback, fin and minke whale sightings recorded. In March, we launched our dolphin and porpoise appeal to raise funds to further decrease marine disturbance and bycatch and to help people eat sustainably with our Cornwall Good Seafood Guide. The summer brought good news. The government said yes to highly protected marine areas and our Sequest Southwest coordinator, Cheryl Yarum, won a Marine Conservation Award. Our marine team took their expertise on tour for National Marine Week, running nine events, and our fish inside of a jellyfish story went global. On land, our teams continued to protect globally significant wildlife here in Cornwall. We finished our third year of badger vaccination trials with ZSL, with more badgers vaccinated this year than ever before. Our work with farmers continued, leading to over 700 hectares of improved land management. The Cornwall Beaver Project saw two new kits and over 450 visitors. Our dynamic dunescape team worked with the military to restore precious habitat at Penhill Dunes and participated in the first World Sand Dunes Day. We also celebrated some key milestones. The Your Shore Beach Rangers Project reached a landmark fifth and final year, leaving a lasting legacy for Cornwall's young people and community groups. Our volunteers joined us for the 10th anniversary of Open Gardens and a decade of Shore Search Week events. And we celebrated 20 years of owning Windmill Farm, an important reserve home to rare dragonflies and damselflies. However, we continue to see nature's decline. Despite the triumphs, the year brought us many reasons to be concerned. We released our new State of Nature Cornwall report, which revealed the threats to our local wildlife. Research showed marine disturbance at an all-time high, and two of our nature reserves were subject to arson attacks, resulting in devastating wildfires that damaged 170 acres of precious wildlife habitat. But we bounce back, and wildlife can too. Together, we are taking action now to reverse nature's decline and leave our environment in the best shape possible for future generations. You donated over £30,000 to repair the wildfire damage and ensured ongoing management of our 59 nature reserves and 5,500 acres of land. You played your part from home, building hedgehog houses, planting trees and helping wildlife on your local patch. You tuned in, strode out and shared your sightings, all for the benefit of wildlife. It's time to turn the tide on nature's decline. You enable us to take the hands-on action required to create a Cornwall where nature thrives. We couldn't do our work without you. Thank you.